Hi guys, it is an unbelievably, spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top, beautiful fall day in August. It is Friday, August 9th, 2019. So I just took a 60-mile round trip to uh, from Montpelier to Burlington, Vermont. I'm on my way back now to go pick up my $500 glasses that my uh, that my dear sweet sister bought for my 60th birthday present. So I get there and I put all my $500 glasses and th they're a fucking joke. They're completely worthless. Uh, my my $1 Dollar Tree glasses that I've been wearing for years completely kicked their ass and I, re I refuse to accept them so the name of this place is called Tribe like Humpty Dumpty Tribe they're called Tribe uh, now this is the one in Burlington Vermont I don't know if they're a national chain or if this is local but I want to give Tribe a big fat F uh, do not go to Tribe for your $500 glasses. So I refused to accept them. I, you know, I sent them back and uh, the, the guy, you know, they went and re, uh, you know, checked my eyes and all of this stuff and he said they're going to make them good. But uh, this is the only day I'm going to be in Burlington. Uh, so what he said is, okay, we're, so we'll well, get your $500 glasses and we will we will mail them to you. And, and, I, and I said, yeah, right, buddy. Like, uh, I, I said, number one, uh, I'm homeless and, and I have nowhere for you to mail my glasses to. So all I can do is give you my address in Austin. So yeah, like I'm gonna get back to Austin, Texas uh, two months from now find these fucking $500 glasses in the mail and they're not going to be worth a shit. Uh, I'm going to be in Austin. You're going to be in Burlington, Vermont. I I'm going to be sitting here w with your $500 piece of shit glasses. Uh, so I've instructed my sister to try to get her goddamn money back. Now I will say, I, I do want to put an asterisk, uh, they, they also made me a pair of readers. I think uh, the readers were like $50 or the, the readers were fine, okay. So uh, they, they did for, I think it was either $50 or $75 where I could have bought, uh, you know, 50 to 75 pairs of glasses uh, at the Dollar Tree. I am satisfied with the readers. I, I did take the, the readers uh, with me, so it wasn't a total loss, uh, but as far as my fucking bifocals, they were a goddamn joke, uh, an absolute joke, $500 down the fucking toilet from Tribe, so your old fart, I'm still sitting here wearing my $1 and of course, I left my other pair of one dollar uh, sunglasses at the goddamn uh, optometrist. And by the time I walked uh, the fucking mile back to my truck, I said, "Oh fuck it, just leave them there." So uh, that's my story. I still do not have my tribe uh, five hundred dollar glasses. And so then what's going on with my $250 surgery on my arm, you know, I got this, uh, this, the, my, you know, my little alien implant cyst taken off my arm for $250 yesterday and I woke up this morning and it felt like I had a new arm. I, I thought I was completely healed and was ready to start doing some damn push-ups and I was celebrating I had been completely healed and within four hours, uh, my brand new arm had reverted back to my same old beat up old arm. 
So I went back to the goddamn uh, acupuncture and spent another $20. So that brings me up to exactly $100. I have paid to the acupuncturist two hundred and fifty dollars, uh, which was a damn good price to get this guy to cut. So I have spent three hundred and fifty dollars on my arm. I am exactly where I was uh, the day I started on that three hundred and fifty dollars. My sister has spent five hundred dollars on my glasses and I do have one pair of reading glasses so eight hundred fifty dollars two trips to Burlington Vermont how many trips to Barry Vermont uh, how many trips to Waterbury Vermont driving all over this goddamn state spending eight hundred and fifty bucks I have a big hole in my arm uh, What's that, John Prine? Uh, there's a hole in Hambone's arm where all the money goes. Yes, yeah, 350. I have a 350 dollar hole in my arm and a 500 dollar pair of reading glasses. <laughs> we're, we're, we're so fucked, people. Goddamn 2019. This is the miracles of modern medicine. But it is a gorgeous day. In the Green Mountains of Vermont, I guess we're having a big barbecue. And then I am off to New Hampshire tomorrow and on to Maine from there. High of 61 degrees here on August 10th tomorrow. And the big heat wave of summer 2019. Looking at 61 degrees on August 10th anyway. I think I've had a just about enough of the miracles of modern medicine and uh, oh well it's margarita and barbecue time in the end times in paradise I suggest you get out there and have all of the goddamn barbecue and margaritas you can get your mouth on while you still can. Bye guys.